Hey everybody, I'm Nicole Ricky, and I am rolling out in my 2017 Ram Promaster City to Grayton State Park. It's kind of in between Panama City and then Destin, Florida. And it is the most beautiful beach. I'm just gonna have a beach day and hang out, lay out, read, and then also have a really nice hiking trail. So I'm excited to check that out. Come along with me. It's dinner time and I am headed to Cracker Barrel. Funny enough, I always park at Cracker Barrel, but I never go in and eat. So here I am now excited for dinner. Good morning. I am still in Destin, Florida, still in the Cracker Barrel parking lot. I had a really big dinner last night and um, shout out to my Uncle Mike. Thank you very much for this Cracker Barrel gift card. Um, I had a great dinner, but it was really big and I was really full last night because I have not been eating well balanced big meals my body wasn't used to it and it was it was having a hard night last night i did have a good night's sleep for the most part though other than when i woke up and i was like so full <laughs> um i always sleep good at a cracker barrel parking lot anyways i just walked in there this morning to brush my teeth use the bathroom and now I have a plan for Dustin. It's not just all day at the beach because the UV index is like 12 and it has been the last few days. And as you can see, I've already gotten quite a bit of sun. I used F 70 SPF sunscreen, um, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna keep getting too much sun, even though I do wanna get tan, especially as I leave Florida, um, I may not be experiencing as nice weather as I am right now. But anyways, I am going to start out my morning at the beach for a little bit, do my quiet time there to get a little reading done, and then I'm going to probably walk around the downtown boardwalk area, and then um, I'm not sure. We'll see. Anyways, this is a two-day vlog because I went to dinner and just had to carry it over, so check out day two of my Florida Panhandle vlog as we explore Destin. So Henderson State Park is supposed to be the nicest beach in Destin, but since I'm not going to be there all day, I'm just really going to be here for a couple hours, I thought I might try and find a free beach. I know it's just a few dollars, but if I could find a free beach with free parking, might as well. So Crystal Beach Access is a free beach with free parking. It's just a mile away from Henderson Beach. So it's the same beach and it's really just a small area with resorts on either side that kind of say private, but I kind of just have been walking through all these nice resorts and getting my little beach walk in.
actually made it to Henderson Beach State Park. So yeah, it is a beautiful beach. I decided to hike the nature trail, which was a great decision. The beach is right there, uh, just hiking through the dunes. But I did not take into account that I left my shoes at the beach with my towel and everything. And part of the trail is really, really rocky. So my feet are suffering. I am now in downtown Destin. This is Harbor Walk Village. Do a little walk around. So I'm headed out of Destin and I'm driving by and I noticed the Gulf Islands National Seashore. So I just did a quick little loop-de-loop -loop and I thought I'd come and take a look. It's actually at quite a few different places and even continues on um, down the coast. But I just thought I'd check this beach out. So I decided to treat myself. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I already started eating it. Wow. So Dylan and Tanya took me to Jeremiah's and I fell in love. This is my fourth time here now. And I've been looking for wherever they have them because this is delicious. Wow. I had a little ice cream break and now I'm actually back kind of in the Gulf Shores area. I'm at the Live Oaks Nature Preserve and I'm going to do a hike. I don't even know how to say this. I'm just like crying as I'm hiking. I've done uh, now quite a few miles here in this trail system. It's a pretty large park. And I've done now over 10 miles today. And I'm just, I'm crying a little bit. I wiped out the tears so you maybe can't tell, but it's the week before my period and I always get a little bit emotional. Seriously, like clockwork. It used to not be this way, you know, but the last few years it's been this way. It's just, I kind of get emotional. And the van season also kind of heightens the emotions. And anyway, so I'm, I'm crying because at first I didn't really know why. But then um, I've been like in this funk this past week that I've been in the panhandle. I'm not sure why. I think um, maybe it's because that this is the last week that I'm in Florida. And I'm just kind of ready for the season to be over. And I'm trying to stay in the moment and enjoy it. Because the panhandle is one of the most beautiful places. has the most beautiful beaches. But also in my heart, I'm just like ready to be done. I've been in Florida for three months. Let's just, you know 
leave. Uh, but okay, so uh, what I'm trying to say is that last night I was um, doing that SLT, that spiritual leadership training course that I've been doing. And um, there was a talk last night about prophecy. And as I'm walking now, I've been listening to podcasts and um, one that came on just like the second um, podcast that just turned on randomly was a podcast by Todd White about prophetic words and about uh, God using people to speak to others and just uh, speak into their lives and how that is just initiation for them, um, the gifts being poured out into their lives and uh, all this stuff. But what I'm trying to say to you is that, or what God I think is trying to say to me is that he has so much for me. Um, he has, there's so much more to him that he wants to reveal to me. Um, Lord, what, what are you saying to me? He, he's saying that like, he is just right here and he has like all of this stuff that he wants to say. And um, I don't always like am available. I'm not always available to listen, but he is so ready to just teach me and share more of himself to me. And um, that's the same for you. And so if you uh, haven't received the love of God, like what I'm learning is, you know, ask. God, God loves you whether you know him or you don't know him. He loves you so much. He loves me so much. And I was having this conversation with my grandma yesterday. And she reminded me of this conversation I had with my grandpa before he passed away. And um, I, I think I was just asking, like, Grandpa, do you... Um, do you know the Lord or I don't know I was just always you know preaching at him and he had said you know he said I don't think that God knows me and of course he knows he knows of course I you know I had this conversation with my grandpa like of course he knows you grandpa he, he loves you um and it's the same for you listening like he loves you so much and if you haven't received it ask the lord he, he's ready at the door you know we just need to give him just a tiny bit and he's ready to just pour out his love on us and just by us asking and then by faith we receive you know whether you feel that or not you know he is ready to pour out his love on us and so you you receive it by faith lord i receive your love that you have for me um yeah I don't know if I got the, there's a lot of points that I was trying to come across, but that that is one of them. Um, and I thank you, Lord Jesus, um, for your love for me. I thank you for speaking to me. Um, and yeah, it's just so available for everyone is what I'm trying to say. And I miss it a lot. I miss it so much. Um, but God is so near and he's so good and he wants to talk to us and he wants to know us. And, um, you know, he, he, he does know us. He wants us to know him. You know, he knows us. He knows every detail of our lives. And, um, you know, he, again, he's right there. He's at the door. And, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just thankful for this moment. Even though I'm still kind of in a bad mood, I still like my stomach's hurting and I just, um, kind of want to be home, honestly. But I do just want to dwell in this, um, last few days in my van here in Florida. And, um, thank you, Lord Jesus, for this moment. I hope, I hope you were touched by this moment that I'm having. <laughs> to end my night, I'm doing another treat myself and I'm at Arby's. I love their curly fries. Uh, I'm going to end my night here. I'm just going to, from here, go and park. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.